again. Um, we sort of had a hard run and it, and it beat you up a little. And um, But yeah, I'm feeling good in training and I'm just glad that I could show everyone what I've been doing and what I'm capable of. Yeah, yeah. So it was glandular fever and heart condition you had? Uh, yeah, I had glandular fever and I had SVT, which I've had since I was 12. Um, I think the glandular fever made it worse. Pushing the training as well, and obviously, yeah, I eventually had the operation on it in um, 2009. So. And then it was just a long, slow road back as well. And, and building trust and confidence in yourself, too, I guess. Oh, yeah, there was, I mean, that, that period was the toughest mentally, emotionally, psychologically, physically. It, it, it took a lot out of me um, uh, to the point where I thought I had to quit the sport. Back in a big way too. Yeah. The last five months, man, your solid, healthy training. Yeah. Yeah. The timing of it's exceptionally good. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have timing like that. I just sort of come out once every four years, <laughs> say hi, and then go back into hiding again by the same So, know. what are you going to do now between? Because obviously, Sydney is really important for you to, to put another good one in to let the selectors know that, that you're about and they're going to go to London. Yeah, well, I've always been an outsider for London. Obviously, I haven't posted the results that the selectors would like, and I, yeah, I don't know if this puts me back in the game or not. Who would know? Um, Sydney would be a big challenge. Sydney will be big. Uh, I'm just here to do what I enjoy doing, and, and I'll just keep racing no matter what. So. No, I just enjoy it. It's a good story, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> I'm happy with it. Pretty good addition, though. Like, uh, you, you must be supremely confident. Um, I'm not, I'm not Um, yeah. So, one race at a time for me, 